Hello again, and welcome to Let's J Minecraft Episode 3. In this episode, I certainly hope I fix my audio problems I've been having. And um, today, I'd like to get a little bit more exploring done, and perhaps let's expand my little hovel into something more usable. Something nice, perhaps, quote-unquote. Uh, I'm not much of a builder, uh, or anything really. I, I have been known to make some pretty good redstone stuff. I'll wait for the load. Um, I have been known to make some pretty good redstone stuff, but it's not as like not as good as some other people I've seen. Seer, I think that should do it. Um, actually, as I speak, I still have not uploaded episode one. I don't know why I'm digging. Um, I oh yes, I know why I'm digging. I'm looking for zombies. Um, I still have not uploaded episode one of this because. I didn't want to take a buff me. The, um, mainly because, for some reason, Sony Vegas decided to fart on me and uh, didn't want to render it. Like I said, it rendered, but never actually rendered anything. Which is kind of weird. So I'm rendering it again. But oh well. You, you shall have your episode one. Well, hopefully you've had it a couple days ago. I might actually upload all these episodes in one day because I'm that, I'm that nice. And I actually enjoy making these compared to... I mean, I enjoy making Team Fortress 2 ones, too, but... These are less work because I don't need to actually make a separate session to record for them. It's all done live. But, um, anyway. I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to bring you in when I find something interesting. I hear a skeleton and I think I see some darkness up ahead, so I think things might get... Oh, no, it's just... Just gravel, but I still hear a skeleton. Oh, well, there is darkness. Okay, I was right. Alrighty. Stay on our toes. Stay on our toes. Ooh, two frames per second. That's nice. Ah. You know, I actually have a really nice computer, so I don't know why it's doing this to me, but recently... I think it's just been uh, bogged down of all this bloatware stuff. There's water above that block. I've just been putting too much crap on it, I think. And it's been slowing the computer down, which kind of sucks, but... Oh well, what are you going to do? No enemies? Nothing? Well, then I'm going to gather the resources and head back, and I will see you guys when we find some more darkness. Alrighty, I didn't see anything interesting, although I heard a zombie and a skeleton, but I didn't see anyone. So, I, I dug around through the wall. So what we're going to do today is look at remodeling. Um, as you can tell, this is probably not the highest class of homes. So, uh, oh, it is growing, okay. I, um, I, as you can, it's growing, the water's underneath the uh, cobble there, as you saw in the last episode. I was wondering if it was going to grow or not. I guess it does. Um, anyway, a, it's not exactly the highest class home. It's uh, kind of derpy. It's one way to put it. It's a nice way to put it. It's derpy, but today, today we're going to harvest some resources and get to making a better house. So I will see you guys when I've collected the resources. I thought this scene looked picturesque, except for the uh, pigs. But I thought it really it looked really nice, and I wanted to share it with you. Just that one tree, it looked really nice. Little baby trees next to it. The pigs probably should go, though. There. That's better. Alright, so here's what I was thinking. I was thinking a three-wide cobble pathway moving down to perhaps here. Oops, yeah, right around here. And uh, bordered by sandstone. But the thing is that I don't think there's any sandstone. And also, there's a border of dungeon, not dungeon, of uh, stronghold stone, the stone brick. A border of that as well, just along here. But I don't know. Um, I'm going to try it out, and we're going to see how it looks. Alrighty, this is what I have uh, so far. I'm probably going to uh, put a uh, trim of the smooth stone across these three bricks here. And... Um, but otherwise, we're going to have one layer of um, stone brick. Then we're going to have a smooth stone. Then we're going to go to wood, probably with some uh, cobblestone supports or uh, wood support. I don't know which yet. 
Um, we're going to have that all the way around, and eventually the uh, brick is going to blend into, um, not really blend into, but I'm going to have to fill all this in down here. But uh, we're going to make it appear that the brick goes into the foundation here. And then we're, all, we're only going to have wood running along here for the entire length of this area. And it's going to turn, and it's going to continue down into here. And this is going to be a pathway of some sort in that general direction. And hopefully, uh, things will turn out pretty well. But I'll bring you guys back in once I have decided to... Once I've gotten more, more work done, actually. Alright, guys. Uh, my favorite song is playing. And also, I believe, uh, as soon as the sun's... Um, is the sun going to set? Oh, it's still rising. Um, I'm going to try to find some sandstone. So, here are my coordinates. This is as much for me as it is for you. Um, X32, Y67, Z, negative 20. So, I'm off to find some sandstone. And I'm going to take you guys with me. So, we're looking for a desert biome. Uh, I'm probably going to light up a little bit of the way, but not all the way. How much coal do I have? I have almost a stack wood I'm short on, but I'm going to find some trees along the way, hopefully. Like that tree up there. I do like snow biomes, like, I never really look at them in a pretty perspective until I started doing this, so they actually are quite nice. But, um, anyway, it is still the same day as I recorded the other two for me. It is still February 11th at uh, almost 10 o'clock p.m. I'm in California, so that's the yeah, Western time, Pacific time, as it were. And yes, cows, moo. Moo indeed to you. So we are headed, uh, is this north? I believe this is north. Because that's, let's see here. oh, the sun is setting. That's, that's west. So, that's west. Yes, this is north. Uh, I didn't bring along any... No, I did not. I did not bring along any wool, so we're going to have to... Oh, there's, there's three sheep over there. We're fine. There's a lot more than three sheep. I think we're fine. But, um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Sorry, sheep. I still have not made any shears. Stay still. I've yet to make any shears. So I'm going to steal your wool. So, yep. Um, and, oops. I fell in a hole. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, cool. That's three wool. So if need be, we can just set out a bed, put down a couple torches, and sleep for the night. And that's a nice looking waterfall over there. I think, oh, ooh. Hold on, I'm going to give the terrain some time to generate just by hitting escape. Alrighty, uh, hopefully that'll reduce some of the lag. It appears we're going into a forest biome. I don't know if I have any bones on me. I do not. Otherwise we can tame a wolf. We can give him a name like Maxwell. I think Maxwell is a good name for a wolf. It's interesting. It's also not a block I meant to uh, tear out. Oh, just... Uh, Little hidey hole. Hello, pigs. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was not looking where I was going. Hello again, pigs. But yes, we're heading north. I have no idea. I probably should make a map. But that would require redstone, and redstone would require going underground. Yeah, the sun's definitely setting. I'm going to make a little tiny hole in here real quick. Do, 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 do. I'll bring you guys back in when we continue our journey. Alright, let's break up our bed, and we're going to continue on. I just slept. Oops, I did not mean to hit that. Alrighty. Break the workbench. 
and we'll be back on our merry way. Alright, so still head to north, hopefully to find some a desert biome, which I've always been unlucky with. Like, I've never encountered a desert biome. Well, I have, obviously. But I've never, like, whenever I look for a desert biome, I'm never able to find it. I can look for days <laughs> sometimes. And I don't, I don't know why. I just have, I'm very unlucky when it comes to desert biomes, I guess. But yes, uh, out of my way, tree. It's good to know that we have a nice forest just to the north because we're probably going to need a lot of wood. Um, as for my future, oh, here's a desert biome. Uh, as for the future uh, plans, I think it is. Yes, it is. Uh, the future plans for the uh, hidey hole over there that we're working on. Uh, I didn't bring along any, uh, no matter. Or, um, I'm eventually probably going to have a tree farm underneath it. It's going to be a combination cave and building thing. I'd, uh, I once had ideas for a Tower of Babel, if you can call it that. Uh, something that reaches high up to the sky and all the way down to the ground, but I don't think that's, I think that's implausible because the sky limit just keeps getting higher and higher. So I'm not sure if that's exactly such, such the smartest idea. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. Um, no sandstone there. Sandstone here. Alrighty. But um, anyway, now that I've found the desert biome, I'm going to collect some of the stuff, and we'll continue on our way once I've gotten some sandstone. Alrighty, I just uh, mined out all the sandstone right here and in the sand as well. Just by using uh, basically placed uh, a bunch of torches down below and then uh, mine your rock and sandstone or just stone and sandstone rather. And then you uh, put down a bucket of water, reclaim it, and get your torches back. I just slept for the night so it's morning time again. And um, I got a pretty good haul, I think. I can convert all of these into sandstone just by going. Like that, like need another sandstone block. So, all in all, not that, not bad. Now I have a nice quarry started. So I'm actually going to put down this tree as well. So I'm going to journey back, and I'll see you guys there. This is neat. I'm going to try to go in here, and hopefully there's nothing too terribly spooky. Nope. Just a, just a sheep. That was neat. So I wanted to, to go light it up, just because. It made me feel happy on the inside. That's neat too. I like this place, although I think I'm off course. I might be getting lost. I hope not. Nope, we came out by this waterfall. The area we just saw is over there. We just popped out by this waterfall, which I pointed out to you guys earlier. So I think I know where we are, hopefully. I see our construction site off in the distance, so we definitely are getting close. Yep, there's our pillars. Alright, I think we found home, and I found I left a nice trail of torches all the way down to the uh, quarry through the forest. So now we can just follow the torches back. We're probably going to build a road out to here eventually. I'd like to build a base or some, or explore some of those mountains, because those look really interesting. So I'm thinking about having a jacuzzi right here, but I'm not sure exactly what I should use for the flooring. I'm thinking either smooth stone slabs which I would need need to go mine some more cobble or wood but I want to use I don't know I might use wood or wool for the interior stuff but I'm not sure so yeah well I've been working out on the uh, jacuzzi area I'm not sure I'm liking it just these pillars right here but I need to have a light level of 12 next to any water block and no sky overhead. I know it's not symmetrical either. Or in order for it to stay water and not turn into ice. So I need to have some sort of light, at least level 12, which I suppose isn't that difficult. I think uh, torches have a light level of 14. So the torch needs to be within two blocks of, uh, of the... Uh, uh, the water here, although, so here, so that's 14, 13, 12, that's a, I guess, uh, 11. So I need to move these down, one anyway, but, um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this area. Hmm. 
thinking eventually I'd like, oops, uh, I'd like to make the four corner pieces glowstone. But um, I'm not going to go to another for a little while now. So I don't know exactly uh, how best to approach this. <sighs> I've put, I've removed them because I've removed the pillars and then just put torches on the fences around it. But I don't think that's going to uh, work very long, at least. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I remove this torch, it's going to freeze back into water, or... Uh, let me check the wiki, actually, see how much light level torches give out. Indeed, torches do give out a light level 14. So that'd be 14, 13, 12, because... 14, 13, 12, 11, and I would need to have the torch either one lower or one over in order to keep this from melting into ice, and uh, not melting, turning into ice. Uh, over here, it'd be four, uh, 14, the 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, or uh, 11, 10, actually. Although I don't know if, the, if diagonally counts as adjacent or not. I don't know. If, if someone in the comments knows this, can you please tell me? Or as, uh, if not, I suppose I can look it up. <laughs> I think I figured out what to do with the floor, however. I think I'm going to make it all cobble. But I would need to mine up some more cobble because I was stupid and turned it all into half slabs. So, at least that's one problem solved. It, it would appear that the uh, jacuzzi is not frozen over, so perhaps there is enough light around that it is keeping it from freezing, which I suppose is a good thing. Alrighty, so I'm getting kind of tired. I'll probably pick this up tomorrow, but today's accomplishments, we've managed to get the general foundation of this building down. Uh, obviously it's not done at all. But we made a um, our infinite spring up here, a little jacuzzi area, and uh, eventually we're gonna have a little road that comes all the way down to here, and eventually all the way down to the quarry. But that's the exterior. We will stay right here, and um, let's go inside. We have a pressure plate, which when I get access to redstone, I make a button rather than the pressure plate. There's a wheat farm, um, that probably should harvest the wheat, and um, down here is our tree farm. Um, I was going to make a tutorial on how to do this, but first off, as you can see, I don't have enough saplings, because there's supposed to be a sapling on every dirt block, and um, obviously there isn't. So I ran out of saplings, I only had 22, and I think this requires like 46 or something like that. But the instructions are pretty straightforward. It's just a 13 by 9 room. There's a walkway around it that's uh, that's included in the 13.9. The actual uh, 13.9, 13 by 9. The actual tree farm is 11 by 7. And um, all it is is just torches arrayed in that arrangement. Um, you can, again, if you go to the wiki and you look up tree farm, it, you'll see this exact layout. They, they show you everything. It's really straightforward. But I think that'll do it for tonight's uh, recording session. So I think I'll actually end uh, the episode here. So I hope you have a good day and enjoy the rest of your day.